Once you have chosen the magnification and adjusted the focus of your sample through the eyepiece, direct the light to the camera and move to the computer. Open the NIS Elements F program located on the desktop. Once the program launches, go to the camera menu bar. The live feed allows you to look at your image in real time. Pause stops the camera but doesn't save the image. Capture takes a snapshot of the image but it does not save it. Capture an image and save your data to see data. Auto capture automatically saves the captured image to the directory you have chosen before you started collecting your images. Go to File, Options and save to your directory underneath C Data. Make sure you have saved your files as TIFFs. All other options result in compression and loss of data. You can input a meaningful prefix to all your images and the image number will increment automatically. Do not save directly to a network drive. Save it locally and transfer your files across at the end of your session. Above the camera menu bar, you will see other options for the camera. Format for live is a way to collect lower resolution images for quick focusing. Format for capture is for your final captured image. For live imaging, we suggest using 2x2 two two or 3x3 three three binning. Whereas for capture for saving, we suggest no binning to get the best resolution imaging for transmitted light imaging. If you are doing fluorescence imaging and are having trouble seeing image from your sample, you can use binning to combine photons from multiple pixels. Therefore, you'll get more photons per unit area, but it comes at a cost of resolution to get increased brightness. Exposure time is the time that your camera is detecting photons from your sample. You will see in the drop down box a one frame selection which shows you the speed limit of your camera. If you select an exposure time lower than this one frame, you'll find that the image will not be collected correctly. Adjust the exposure time to get a good contrast in your image. If you need to enhance the contrast in your image, you can try to change the gain. It defaults to one. You can go to one, but if you have a bright sample, you can try to decrease the noise and it will decrease the brightness in your image. If your sample is really weak and you can't obtain a good image by just increasing the exposure time, then you can try to change the camera to four times gain, but you will find you will also get an increase in noise as well. The frame rate. If you go faster, you will get more noise. So if you would like a high quality image, decrease the frame rate. NIS Elements F does not automatically detect the objective and as such, it does not know the scale of your image. To include the scale bar, under scale, change to the 10X objective. Then go to camera, calibrate, and enter the number of microns each pixel, which is on the sheet on the table, which has been measured by the facility staff. This will provide the information to the software to put a scale bar in the image. If you would like to change the look of the scale bar, you can right click and change the color and size of the text. You can also move this scale bar around the image. We suggest you also save a second image without the scale bar so that you can have flexibility over the position of the scale bar in your final image. Across the top, you can use the auto exposure box. 
If it is turned off, when you hit the auto expose button, it auto exposes the image based on the whole image. But if the button is pressed, it uses the part of the sample in the green box and you can move that box around and change the size and place it over an area of interest in your image. Focus Conditions uses the live focus bar at the bottom to help you determine what is in focus. So when this is activated, you can put the red box over an area of interest and then use the bar to help you optimally focus that image. On the top right, you can use the digital zoom, which is the magnifying glass, while you are focusing, which can be handy. And then you can return the image to the full screen by pressing this button. If you have a few images, you want to easily merge the data together without having to go to a third party software such as ImageJ, you can create an RGB image if you have captured three separate fluorescence images. Go to Edit, File Merge, and then pick the images you want to be pseudo colored red, green, and blue. And it will generate a new image with those colors overlaid. Apply your scale bar and generate an image that doesn't need any more processing.